Hi there, welcome back to Bevo Tech Pack. How are you doing, guys? How's everyone doing? Um, so, I believe uh, in the last episode we were looking at the QED and such like, but in the meantime, I've actually. Oh, grab that. Let's get that smelted down. Um, but in the meantime, I've actually come up with some ideas on actually how to link this barrel to B space, which was should be surprisingly obvious. Like, um, so if I grab my dolly, and if I grab this chest, and head on back over, what's this one? Wood. So if we head back to the other base, and then if we put down the barrel here, um. We should be able to link these things if I actually have the rest of the stuff that I need, which I don't. I'm an idiot. Uh, where did I leave that stuff now? Was it here? I don't think it was. Oh, silly me. Nope. Okay, let me go get it. So I have my tuning rod, so we can just tune that to there. No, I keep doing that. I always do that. So we can tune that to there. There we go. And then we should be able to just pick up this one here. And it should keep its um, tuning. And it does. So yay. Uh, so that's all we really had to do. Uh, now we'll have our supply of wood over in the base, which is awesome. Uh, now quickly, I just want to refuel the helium plant one because it seems to be going swimmingly. It does seem to be working fine. Uh, it is a wooden one, so it is very slow, but it does seem to be working. If slowly. Yeah, cool. Right, so, so let's get on to what we want to do today. Uh, for that, I need to go back to the other base. Oh, this is finished, actually. Let's just pick up whatever we got here. Yeah, it's fi finished. Load of dirt. Yo, load of yellow right. Interesting. Um, I'm still unsure if I want to get into big reactors. Um... I still think there's better ways of making power, but maybe not. Maybe we will get into big reactors, but not today anyway. So today, I as I said, I wanted to get some sort of obsidian generator. Unfortunately, I could not find any real way of doing it other than an igneous extruder. So we may as well just go for the igneous extruder because it's simpler to build. And, well, it, it gives us everything we need, really. Um... So, we're going to make one of those. I'm going to make one of those off camera. And then we are going to go ahead and hook up our lava supply uh, from the nether and bring it over here. So, I will be back momentarily. Okay, I have myself an igneous extruder. Um, and now, what I want to do is, I've also made up some ender IO fluid conduits. And I'm going to switch over these things here to be fluid transposers instead and we're going to just break apart this bit and take out this and right here we're going to put in an energy conduit and also a fluid conduit so the fluid conduit should go there and it should keep that filled up I think um, we will find out of course in a bit uh, but we'll also put one of these on sorry like this and that means the Power will go along there, but so will the um, water. Uh, yeah, so extract always. Awesome. And we should be able to say that um, insert. So that should be good. Um, and the reason we're doing this is so that we can bring the igneous extruder over to here. Um, and we'll just break apart that one as well and just put it kind of like 
that. No. I don't know. Um, we need a block of sandstone, really. Yeah. Uh, and we're going to put the igneous extruder just here. Uh, we just need to grief in here as well. Oh, there goes my axe. So, uh, five more power. That should be more than enough. There we go. And by more than I'm off enough, I mean exactly what I need. So this, we do not want this to connect to this. Because we don't want water going in there. So... Disabled there. Uh, so that shouldn't put any water in there. Uh, while the power is still going fine. Uh, so then we can bring the fluid duct the whole way over. There, and then this, we'll tell it from the back to put water in, and that doesn't seem to be working. Insert. These are fluid. Oh, I don't have any left. Oh, you know what? I think I, I disabled the water going from there to there. How do I... Hmm. Let me just mess around with this for a bit. Okay, I just broke it and replaced it, and that seems to have done the trick. Um, these conduits might... Oh no, there's no need. I was going to say we need to increase them, but no we don't. There's no need to increase these. So of course we are doing this to get ourselves some obsidian. We'll just block this back up. Well, that was strange. Do I have an axe in my bag? No, let's go make an axe quickly. I have no sticks. Uh, you know what, let's make it from um, this stuff here because we've loads of it. Also, it's kind of faster, which is handy. Right, so we have ourselves a tank of lava, I believe, from the nether last time. It should be in here. Let's dump off these while we're here. So if we just dump this on top of this, and we get our swizzle stick, as I'm going to call it, because it's definitely not called a configurator. There we go. Away it goes. Creating obsidian. Not the fastest thing in the world, and in fact, I'd even go as far as to say that the idea that I came up with might have been actually faster. But it's simple. So for now, we're going to leave that like that. Uh, we're creating a nice supply of lava. But first, I think now, we're going to come up with a way of bringing the lava from the nether over to our base here. Um, so... I'm just going to charge up my jetpack and other things. That should be enough. Um, and sort out my inventory and we'll be back in a second. So guys, I want to use these cool Ender Rails from Ender.io, which allow you to teleport carts. Um, which look really cool. So I need a detector track and these are going to need standard rails. Oh, which there's a shapeless crafting recipe for. I thought I was going to have to make a rolling machine, but I might not, actually. Awesome. Let's grab some tracks and see if this actually does work. And it gives me one, though. I think I might be better off actually making the rolling machine. 
Yeah, I mean, it's only iron and pistons. It's much cheaper. So, let's just make up some pistons. Screw that. Um, we need wood. We'll keep the spruce, actually, for the building. It should be enough. Uh, iron. Four. One, two, three, four. That's all we need, and then four redstone. And we'll also need a crafting table, which I'm sure there should be one in here. But there's not. Okay. Do, do, do. And just enough wood for a crafting table. Look at that. It's almost as if I planned it. Which I didn't. When would I ever plan that? Uh, okay, so there's a rolling machine. Cool. Uh, let's grab another energy conduit. Head back over here and we'll put this in here, sure. Energy conduit and rolling machine. Boom. So we need some iron or steel. Or... Oh no, we're gonna need wooden ties. I forgot about that. And we need creosone. Which we need the coke oven. Oh! It's always so confusing when Railcraft is on this. Um, coke oven's not too difficult to make. Let me get those rails going anyway first. Um, Yeah, so rail. We can use tink. We can use bronze instead. Uh, which might be a better idea. There's a way of making this. I keep forgetting this. Every time I've gone to make this stuff, there it is. That should be enough, I think. I think it should, actually. I think that's exactly the right amount. So, that, 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 that. And away it goes. Awesome. Easy. Right, let me go have a look, see what I need. Um, to get this creosome. So, I'm currently waiting for the rest of this clay to cook up for the coke oven. Uh, but while I am... I decided that it probably would be best if I get myself some elevators, uh, simply because, you know, <laughs> going up and down those stairs is starting to get a bit annoying. So I need to put these kind of in the center. Like here would be the ideal spot, but it's not actually the center. Um, and I don't have it up here. Yeah, so... Not really the best place for it. I'd like to come up into the center of the top room. Which I assume is about... Here. So this block here. And uh, because we're going to be putting one floor block down anyway, we can actually jump up one here. Um, so we'll drop down here. And line up here and then go over here. And we'll put one here. She's gonna look a bit weird, but uh, it's not that weird actually. Um, and it lines up perfectly with this, which is good. Nice. So then we can jump up here, jump down here. This room still isn't finished. It's getting there. Need a lot more sandstone though. Uh, but we're also gonna go down one as well. So we can actually seal up the side of this over here. Which should be good. Um, let's just check on this. There's no power in it. No ender pearls in it. Uh, so, yeah. This is going to be need to be made a bit better down here. And it can be very industrious down here, actually. Um, we'll probably make it so it's kind of less wooden, like upstairs, and more... 
more, I don't know, industrious type thing, which I already said, but yeah. And we'll have our train coming in downstairs as well, and probably have our tanks for storing the lava as well. But anyway, let's put in the elevator. This block. And there we are. So now we can go between our floors without having to actually, you know, grief through a wall, which is cool. So, uh, let's see if we can put this in like this and seal up the wall and I'll be back in a minute. So I have all the coke oven now and of course there was a secondary reason why I wanted to make the downstairs area because uh, I don't think the coke oven would fit very well in here. Um, if I wanted to have it here I would want it behind here somewhere. And that's an even amount there. I don't really want to put it there. So I, I said I'd just put it down here. Um, Probably over here. This area is just horrible at the moment. We do have to kind of just cut it out at some point, but not now. I'm just going to put this in here for now. I think it would be fine in here. Just for now. We'll, of course, move it around later if we need to. Um, and if we really want to, we can probably connect it up there to those uh, pipes. So, we just put this all in like this. And one more layer. Boom. So, we're going to need some coal, which oh, thankfully I just got. And each coal will make some kerosene. So, that's all we're going to have to do is just wait for that to actually come through. Um, I'm not sure if charcoal does as well, but we do have a load of coal. So, we may as well just use the coal. It makes it faster, so we may as well use it. Um, and I don't think we need much. We're gonna gonna need a bucket or so. Uh, well, four buckets we're gonna need. That's what we're gonna need. So I'm gonna let that burn, and we'll be back. So I've managed to get myself some wooden rail beds, which is exactly what I need. So now we need um, these things, the standard rails. And we need a pressure pad, which I have one, cool. And also, I think there was one more thing. Ah yeah, redstone, it was bound to be redstone, wouldn't it? Okay, so that, 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 and that, detect, oh wow, we make 16, oh wow. Uh, Minecraft. Okay, so. We need to basically put this in this thing with an Enderman soul vial. We have a soul vial, we have an Enderman spawner, so let's go downstairs and um, try not to get killed by blazes. And we turn this on and we can grab one. There we go. Easy. I think we probably started killing off some Endermen there as well. And this thing is starting to drain a power. It's like so power intensive, it's crazy. Uh, but we have the Soul Vial now with the Endermen. So now all we have to do is using the Soul Binder and the Soul. I'm taking 10 levels for myself. Uh, this thing stores 100,000 RF, which means that we can actually get this thing straight away. Uh, we probably need to make a second one, but I'm not sure. Let's get ourselves a minecart. And some rail. I thought I had some minecart. I do have a minecart. Okay. And there we go, ender rail. Uh, okay, let's test this thing out. Um, I'm really not sure how this thing works at all. So let's just see. I might need a second rail. Um, I 
I can't seem to place this. Why can't I place it? That's very strange. Uh, let me just check how this thing works. So it turns out in order to use these things you need a tr dimensional transceiver which transports items, lures and power wirelessly anyway which means it acts just like a um, a tesseract. So that means that this is not going to work. Oh, what a pity. That's that's a pity. Uh, we will definitely use rails for something though. Rails are awesome. Um, and we might even get to use these ender rails. But that's a pity that that doesn't work. But uh, yeah, okay, so we'll have to transport this um, lava in another way. Okay guys, um, that is all I have time for for today, I'm afraid. Um, I hope you enjoyed the episode, even though we failed to do what we wanted. But uh, yeah, okay, so I will see you later.